Hi, my name is Terry Marsh. If you're over 50 years of age and a follower of boxing, you may be aware I was a former undefeated British, European and world IBF boxing champion. As an aside, I was also a world WCBA chess boxing champion in 2015 before retiring undefeated again. I'm now 65 years old, or as I would say, 65 years young. And 50 years ago, on the 20th of September 1973, there was a tennis contest between a 55-year-old man, Bobby Riggs, who was a former Grand Slam winner, and the 29-year-old Billie Jean King, whom I think needs no introduction. It was billed as the Battle of the Sexes, and it created a lot of interest at the time. I think Billie Jean won by three sets to nil, or would that be three sets to love? 50 years on, it's been argued that 65 is the new 55. And I want to assume the mantle of Bobby Riggs in the boxing world. It's not my intention to lose against the prospective opponent, yet my prospective opponent will without doubt have other ideas. So we are set up for a battle of sexes in the ring. Not an exhibition, but a real contest. The gentleman in me may mean that I have to concede the first punch, yet, as I experienced in my days in the military, no plan survives contact with the enemy. Mike Tyson put it more succinctly, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. The gist of it is, no matter how meticulously you plan a boxing strategy, you must be prepared to improvise based on what is happening in the ring. Planning is a dynamic, not a static set of moves. I think it was such pragmatism on my part which helped contribute to my undefeated record. A record that I'm very proud of and don't intend surrendering without a fight. So I'm sending out a challenge to the current women's world light middle, middle and super middleweight champions. I'll be giving weight and age advantages to all. Interestingly, this battle of the sexes should not be as controversial as first envisaged. After all, boxing has matchmakers at every level of the sport. The intended job of the matchmaker is to ensure an evenly matched contest. This is done by matching equally skilled boxers against each other. If one is judged superior, then, ju then weight advantages or disadvantages can be incorporated. The same principle can apply to age differences in order to redress physical advantages. So the idea of a woman versus a man in a boxing contest should be condoned rather than condemned, provided that the testosterone disadvantages that a woman has can be offset by weight and or age. One of the champions I'm challenging is Clarissa Shields, a very competent boxer. However, she is talking of fighting a boxer by the name of Keith Thurman. I'll leave you to look up Keith's record, but I think it is a step too far for Clarissa. If women have ambitions of fighting men, then it needs to be on an incremental basis. An undefeated world champion aged 65 would be a good starting point, in my view. Thurman would be a step too far for Clarissa, and also for me. I'm putting this out there in order to help what is known as the Ringside Charitable Trust, the RCT. The RCT are endeavouring to raise money in order to buy a care home dedicated to ex-boxers. The fundraising has been going on for a number of years, but they've only managed to make a relatively small dent into the amount required, although that is commendable. I think a battle of the sexes would generate a huge interest beyond the sphere of boxing. I cannot see anything other than a generous pay-per-view. I appreciate that each of my potential opponents are professional boxers, and I'm not looking for any charitable donations on their part. Taking up the challenge would be more than charitable. They would be paid the going rate, no exploitation, and I trust their respective managers would not allow anything else. It will be from my end, through your pay-per-view contributions, that the funds will be raised. That's the construction, facilitation and or renovation of the ringside rest and care. There may be other women out there whom I have overlooked and if you feel you fit the bill, please contact me accordingly. My minimum weight is £153. This is a window opportunity for me since no one can hold back time. I think I can maintain my present level of fitness necessary for this potential battle for the next four months or so. The irony doesn't escape me that I could find myself being RCT's first inmate. 
I'm happy to consider any jurisdiction, even the British Boxing Board of Control, although I'm given to understand they are under a bit of a cloud at the moment. But I believe everyone to be innocent unless proven guilty. Equally, if there are any promoters or sponsors for RCT or the Battle of the Sexes out there who think it has legs, give me a call.